What is up guys, it's your boy Jam back again with another video and in today's video I'm actually filming this right after my first shiny hunting stream which went awful but, um yeah it's gonna be my little boost video but, um so if you guys can see um we're back for another battle spot the battle or live battles but this time we have an interesting team you guys are seeing that correctly we have a Rayquaza but this is a V create Rayquaza now Right off the bat, I am going to say if this video gets 10 likes, I will do a shiny v Creator Rayquaza live stream. Um, I got this Rayquaza. Someone just traded it to me. Randomly. That was really cool. So we had this team, um, Arcanine. Arcanine is kind of just, you know, sport. The only mod that really goes directly. Oh, this is a shiny Rotom I got from a giveaway. From a, um, when I was doing my Jirachi giveaway. So I can't remember who gave it. I feel bad for that. But, um, you know who you are. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um... And we're using it in this video, so if you are, um, for the person who gave it to me, um, say in the description. Then we have this, um, Spinda, which is the skill swap Spinda, which is going to skill swap Contrary. And the rest of the mons are just basic, um, kind of support mons that you would typically see. So, um, yeah, so let's get on Battle Spot and let's see what we can, uh, find. Alright, so we found our opponent. We got, um... Ishigo? I think that's what it said. I was supposed to know. Oh. They have an interesting team. Um, Alola Legends, which is actually good, um, because that allows Rayquaza to set up kind of nicely. Um, Rayquaza first, though, seems like a bad idea. I don't know what that, like, side glare is. Hold on, let me try something. Is it gone now? It's not gone. I don't know why it's glaring on the screen. There's like no light. It's like pitch black in here. But we need to start planning because, um, yes, yeah, so we got the Zeraora. Um, this is overall a good Rayquaza to go against this team. Otherwise, he's really easy to plan out. Um, Rotom with the choice specs is going to do heaps. Arcanine's going to really be important. Um, I say, what's. You know what, let's just, just screw it. This is a battle for fun. Let's go Rayquaza, Spinda. I'm going to bring Rotom. And, uh, I'm going to say Arcanine. And let's see, because this is not planned at all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, clean my screen a little bit, but, um... So yeah, there we go. The Rayquaza and the Spinda. Let me turn that light off. Apparently that's causing glare. Shiny Silverleo, so if you have to shine down, I'm pretty sure that Silverleo did not have a Pokeball. Or the Event Ball, so I'm legit. It doesn't matter though, I don't, I don't care. I, this is a hack team. Um. I'm gonna do. Um, I know I'm faster. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Because I know Spin does not faster than me. And I'm actually going to skill swap with the Rayquaza. Zeroar uses Plasma Fist. Okay, on the Rayquaza. Which is going to do a decent chunk. Rayquaza Dragon Dances. Okay, not bad, not bad. We get Contrary this turn and then we can V-Create for some heavy damage. Silverleo, it depends on what the Silverleo Sun Steel strikes. We have to hope it's the Spinda. If it's not the Spinda, we're done. Okay, it is the Spinda, but Spinda's bulky. So Spinda's gonna skill swap. And that is that's it. That's the strat right there. And then what they don't expect is the V create. And what we're gonna do. Is we are going to, um, hmm. I'm gonna toxic the Zero Wrath. And then, boom, there we go. We now are V creating. And we're gonna boost speed. Oh my goodness, that's powerful. Woohoo! Speed, defense, and special defense rise. Oh my goodness. This is my first time using a, uh, and, um, what is it? Is, are we going to die from that now? We're going to live. We're literally going to live. Oh my 
my goodness. He's definitely gonna kill the um He's definitely gonna kill the Rayquaza next turn or he's gonna try. So I think I'm just gonna outrage next turn. But um holy moly, that is incredible. That was just an instant kill. Gosh. That's insane, man. That's just there's no point in raising our defense. We're not living another attack. But what I would like to do is I would like to get a very strong outrage on something, and I'm gonna try to toxic the um Lunala. And we're gonna see how this goes. Um not that Lunala's oh it does do the Zero Or, that's a shame. Maybe that means Rayquaza lives this turn though? Night days. No. Rayquaza ain't living that. Rayquaza did work though. That is powerful. Oh, he's gonna avoid. Oh man. Okay, well. Plan. We know the next two things he has. Um, this is a choice specs Rotom. It's a shiny Rotom. And we're going to send it out in battle. Ooh, that's a, that's a shiny Necrozma. Okay. That thing's going to be an issue, probably. We're going to send out the shiny Rotom. And um, we're going to see if it can put in some work against the Sunala with a times 4 effective Shadow Ball. While Spinda proceeds to... Um, I don't see a problem with just toxicing the Necrozma. Because we do have Arcanine in the back. I don't know what Arcanine is going to do. I really should have picked um, Lapras. There's nothing I can really do about it. Um, yeah, he's going to do that thingy my bobber. Let that be on the um, Spinda. Oh no. We live. We live. Holy crap. This has got a kill, right? Is that a, just a kill? That's not a kill. Oh no. Okay, but we do hit the Toxic off, which is really nice. So I'm going to, um, the smart play right now, in the end, we want to keep um, Spinda so he can't double up on um, Lapras next turn. So what we need to do is we need to just Shadow Ball the Lunal again. I can't believe that didn't kill, that was... And we need to protect the Spinda. Because that way he can't double up on Lapras next turn. And um, we can safely hit probably twice with Lapras. Rotom Geyser is going to kill the Rotom. I'm surprised Rotom even lived. But um, it is how it is. So we're in an iffy position. We protected, which is good. And now we have Arcanine, which um, Arcanine really can't do much. So we're in a pretty bad position, actually. We have Flare Blitz. Which um, I guess can do things. I guess. We might lose this battle, which is fine. Um, we did get the good taste of what uh, what a, um, a V-Create Rayquaza can do. And we're going to have other battles after this. This isn't our only one. But um, Engel, Flare Blitz the Lunala, and... Uh, Really nothing we can do but double protect, I guess. I don't know. Let's see if we can get off the double protect in the first place. Really, because this spin does full support, its point is to die early. And in this case, it really didn't die early. It fails to protect. Okay. And there's a Z-move coming in. Great. Oh, no. What's that on? What is that on? That's going to be on the Arcanine. There's no way it's not. There's no way it's not on the Arcanine. Alright, just hit me. Just hit me. Okay, um... That's going to freaking decimate the Arcanine. We pretty much lose this battle now. Um, I don't think I live that. I, I think I'm bulky. I'm mixed bulk. But what is what's that gonna do in this case? That just yeah that that does too much. It kills. Okay, GG. We lost. Um, 
Yeah, we got two out. Okay, we were against four legendaries though. Come on. And we really didn't pick the best. Who who? You can't even beat an Acrosma in game. It's so difficult in that. And then you have some competitive person who's got like a six IV one. It's just it's just not happening. But GG. GG to that. And let's uh, I'll see you guys in the next battle and hopefully we get someone who doesn't have four legendaries. And we're already back with Beto. And we're gonna see what team he has. And so ooh. So off the bat, three dragons. Meaning it's either safe or not safe for Claza. We are definitely bringing Lapras, because Lap Lapras tanks four of his mons. And uh, Garrett, so what, I, I can't really do the spin death strat that easily right here. Actually, I can. I can do it, but I don't see the point in doing it. Um, I feel like if we can play smart and predict what's going to hit Rayquaza, Rayquaza comes off as kind of easy. So I'm thinking we go Rayquaza Lapras. Well, no, not Lapras. Hmm. We need to preserve the Rotom in case Gyarados comes out, which I don't know if Gyarados will come out first. He has so many Intimidators that we can't send out Rayquaza. Maybe Lapras and Rotom, because that brings a good amount of diversity. And in the back, we're going to have Rayquaza. And um, Superior doesn't really do the work, so I'm going to bring in Arcanine. Because we need that Lucario hit. And we're gonna see how this battle goes. Let's hope we don't go for the um let's hope we don't go two in a row losses, because that would kinda of suck. This means team is interesting though. I love the Dragonair. That's 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 cool. You don't see Dragonair a lot. So we're gonna go Lapras and Rotom. And he goes Salamence and get Ooh, wow, we uh we just, we predicted the double Intimidate perfectly. For someone who has not battled in ages, that's really good. This is double Intimidate, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Is this a, I don't think this is a, no, this definitely is not a physical Lapras. Yeah, we're in luck. We have Blizzard. We, yeah, I forgot this is my RNG type Mon. Um... I don't really feel like... I feel like I can Volt Switch the Gyarados and honestly just kill it. But really... How needed is that, though? I can go out into Gyarados and get a nice setup, but then he sends out another Intimidator, so... It really doesn't do much. We're best off just kind of sacking it, if need be, but I really don't think he's going to do that. So if this Blizzard hits, it's going to be amazing. And we might get the double KO... But if it misses, we're in a heap of trouble. Okay. Lucario. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Rotom still Thunderbolts. How much does that do? Should kill. It does kill. Okay. So he might be forced into a... Um, yeah, we hit the... Yeah, that would have been nice to have him out before. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I'm not fond of that damage. But I'm thinking if he has... <laughs> We know three of his mons just from that. So Incineroar, okay. Incineroar is a problem. Ish. I say ish. Only because we have Hydro Pump. And if we hit the Hydro Pump, this is going to end up being really good. I'm thinking from that range, a Choice Specs, Modest Nature, Rotom. I didn't even check the EVs on this thing. Crap, that would have been smart. Well, it's, I think it, it, it should be max special attack, max speed on this Rotom. This Rotom I didn't really gen myself. It was from the giveaway, so. So Lucario's going to Mega Evolve. Not that that matters too much if we can hit the good Thunderbolt. Which, I don't know if I'm faster than a Mega Lucario. Lucario's going to close combat the Lapras. We're going to not tank that. Okay. He's going to lose defense and special defense, so if Rotom can live, which it's going to hit over anyway, so that kills it. So now we know what his last two mons are. And I'm thinking Preserve Rayquaza. Preserve Rayquaza. 
and we're gonna live that. Ooh, wow, that was a crit. Wow, oh my goodness. Mmm, preserve Rayquaza. Kind of work on this, um... Do I... Hold up. I have Will-O-Wisp on this Arcanine. What if I Will-O-Wisp the Salamence? And then I can focus on... Inc oh, we're going to get the minus one anyway, so... Even Incineroar is not a challenge now. We outspeed Incineroar. Um, I'm thinking we go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Salamence. Thunderbolt on the Incineroar. I think he's just going to go for the knockout on... Um, I think he's just going to go for the knockout on Rotom. Unless I'm for some reason faster than his Salamence, which I really shouldn't be. If I am though, that'd be amazing. Maybe we can even get a Paralysis. But what I'm thinking is we will with the Salamence. Let Rayquaza get off. And, okay, we have speed. That's insane. Okay. And that's going to do a giant chunk. He's going to Z move. I don't even have a Z move on the scene. He's going to waste the Dragonian Z. Which, if he doesn't know, we have a Rayquaza in the back. It sounds like this. I wish I had preserved my life first. That was kind of a bad play on my part, but what can you do? Am I going to live that? <laughs> but we're going to miss the Will-O-Wisp, aren't we? No, wow, okay. So, we hit that. I'm thinking we just Cinnabar Blast burns. Kills the Rotom, yep. Yep. So Salamence is burnt. And Cinnaroar and both of them are a minus one. The plan now is we really need to preserve these next few turns. So question, how much hmm, for, okay, if Rayquaza gets off a Dragon Dance, but there's no guarantee that Sal or that Incineroar is gonna die to this extreme speed. So I think the safe play is just outrage. It's probably a bad play. Let's see if Arcanine's extreme speed kills. It does. Okay. I think we just won this one. No oh gosh, it's down to a 1v1. Can this outrage kill? It should. Boom. Okay. We got it. We won. We won. We won. Okay. That's fantastic. So we're not going to go for the full zero on this game, this video. We are going to play at least one more match with this. Um, I really don't time limit myself in these types of videos. So um, I guess let's go for match number three. All right. So here we go. We got someone from Japan. So um, let's see how well this battle goes. Um, it's got the Dark Cry. We lost. I'm. I do not. I hate Dark Cry. I hate facing it with a burning passion. Um, he's almost definitely gonna send it out first. So. Mm, I don't know. I just do not know. The Lapras is gonna be huge for that. I'm thinking we just say screw it. Go for the, uh, so we already know three of our mons. I want to do the Spindos method. Um, I also want to have a Lapras. So I don't know why I clicked Rotom. But just for the priority, in case we need it, I'm going to go for Arcanine. And we're just going to confirm from there. I really have no plans for this battle. It is in our Zeraora battle, so second time using Zeraora. Um, so let's see how this goes. And um, hopefully it goes well. No guarantees or promises. But, um... Polky and Jesse... Okay, that's actually good. Shiny Genesect is a beautiful shiny. I'm just saying I wish I could shiny hunt for it. Um, so this is actually really good for us. We can already know the Polky is going to do its thing against us. And, um... Yeah, so... We're kind of relying on RNG here. Will Rayquaza's Outrage after we D-Dance 
will it um we create super effective just saying on that genesect if we want to kill that genesect so let's skill swap let's do our same method as before I don't know how this is going to go. I think either way, Rayquaza just dies. Really, either way? Okay, so D-Dance comes out. Palkia Special Rams. Which is going to only bring us down to a Sash. It's a really good thing I Sash this thing. So this is really an awkward situation because no matter what Rayquaza just dies, we basically have to pick what's the more difficult target and obviously it's going to be Palkia because actually no, we just outrage and hope that we hit the, well, I don't know, we outrage we're relying on just RNG. There's no point in V-creating. This is, we had one good V-create battle. We have to hope we hit the Palkia. Spinda? Um, you can't do anything? Um. I guess just in case you don't hit Palkia, we are going to Toxic the Palkia. J oh no! What? Hit the Palkia, please, please, please. Yes! Let's go. Now we're stuck into that, though. I didn't... That's insane. He didn't... Well, now Rayquaza dies next turn, right? Because now he has to... Why didn't he extreme speed the Rayquaza? We were a times one with Contrary. VK really isn't known on Rayquaza, though. I forget about it all the time, but, um, yeah, so really Rayquaza dies next turn, there's no delaying the inevitable, he just has to, um, kind of pick faster, he, he, your options are so simple, you literally, if you play smart, you get a double kill next turn. <laughs> Rayquaza does have extreme speed. I'm probably just going to... Oh, I can't do that because I'm outraged. Why do I have outrage on this thing? I mean, I'm literally playing how... Is he timer stalling? This is kind of ridiculous. If he disconnects, we're counting it as a win. Even though it would be really dumb to... Okay, Darkrai. Darkrai is the bane of existence. We all know what Darkrai does. It dark voids. Hurdy, hurdy, hurdy. You're such a good player. I really need to get outrage off of that thing, but um, I'm simply mm. I'm actually gonna skill swap on Darkrai. Get rid of that bad dreams, cause I'm not gonna live anyways. There's no way. If he lets my Rayquaza live, that'd be the really the silliest thing ever. But I'm really hoping he just extreme speeds again. Because there's no way his Rayquaza or his Darkrai is out speeding. So if we can get lucky and hit an Outrage on Darkrai, that'd be amazing. That would truly be phenomenal. But, you know, if I... Oh, he doesn't... Okay, hit Darkrai, hit Darkrai. No! Why would you hit Genesect? Oh, no. Why would you even Technoblast? You could have just Extreme Speed killed me. Now he's going to Dark Void. Yep. Can it miss? No. Maybe it does miss. No, it's not going to miss. Not after that animation. Oh, the RNG though. If it had hit Darkrai, this would be a complete game changer. That, would, that could have been a complete game changer. I need to get... Okay, I'm... I don't know what I can do. I can't kill the... I don't kill the Darkrai with an extreme speed, so there's no point in extreme speeding. I need to... 
I don't think I win this one. I think we're going 1-2 one, one, in this game, guys. Or 1-2 in this video. Unless I try to play again. Which I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll do a part 2 to this video. Um, I'm thinking let's just Blizzard. And, um... I don't know what to do. Extreme speed doesn't... It doesn't do anything. I don't know what to do. I really am stumped. Do I just kill off the Genesect? Is that even going to matter in the end? Do I even kill off the Genesect with an extreme speed? I kind of just have to flare blitz. Oh, didn't mean to get my finger in the video, but... um, I'm just going to flare blitz Genesect. I really don't see myself winning this battle. He has Hyper Beam. I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna live that in any means. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna tank that. All right. He's gonna Dark Void. If you play Dark Void, you're a noob. There's no Lapras. Lapras is the one with Sleep Talk. My goodness. I would have preferred Lapras get hit. That does nothing. Why do people play Dark Void? What is the fun? What is the fun in Dark Void? Winning is fun, but... I don't understand. What is the fun in winning with Dark Void? You are not a good player because you can win by spamming Dark Void. That does not make you a good player. It, it doesn't. It does not make you a good player at all. And now you're going to Dark Void again. Can Lapras miss? Can it miss Lapras now that I actually, like... Nope. Okay. <sighs> My literal only counter for this is Sleep Talk now. I... <laughs> Even I've thought about making like an Ubers team and going on here battling like that just to like see how it goes. I wouldn't even use Dark Cry. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Can we get the one turn wake up extreme speed kill the Genesect? Is that a is that is that a solution to this this conundrum? I think I'm gonna have to go for a fourth battle after this just cuz I just wanna I don't wanna end off the video on this note you know that's crazy I probably will though just cause, I don't know dude just Dark Cry makes me angry it's not a fun set to play it's not you're not a good player using Dark Cry you're just not and this guy <laughs> Dream Eater, yay. Thanks. Best case scenario, we get a Sleep Talk Blizzard on that Dark Cry. Or not, a Hydro Pump, Extreme Speed, Wake Up on Arcanine, and it. <sighs> Gosh. Lepers dies next turn. What is the fun? I, I really just don't get the fun in using Darkrai. Like, I don't care that I lose battles. It's it's a game, but, like, Darkrai. I don't understand the fun in it. It's not fun. It's, it's not a gimmick. It's not strategy. Okay, we get the extreme speed kill. We're not going to win anyway, but... Just because, like, this guy's gotten so lucky with his Dark Voids. La oh my, okay. So, pending what he has in the back, I don't know. I don't know what he has. I know he's got a bunch of legendaries. Is 
Zero Aura, we're screwed. Can't really... Okay, we could win. In theory, we could win. What has to happen is we have to hit this Hydro Pump on Darkrai. It kills Fahadim some, somehow. And this Flare Blitz kills the Zero Aura, which I don't think it's going to happen. But if it can bring it down low enough, we extreme speed. That's assuming Arcanine lives. But I just... I don't see a win in this battle. He fakes out. Okay, why would you... Oh my goodness. Okay. So, Lapras, yep, Lapras flinches. So what has to happen next turn is this extreme speed that I'm about to do. So I guess we have a fighting chance, question mark. Extreme speed the Zero Aura. We have to, like, we have to extreme speed Zero Aura. It has to kill, which, I mean, we are life for, but we have... I think it's going to kill. It's safe to say. He has to Dark Void. Miss. We have to hit off this Hydro Pump. And then potentially Extreme Speed next turn and kill Darkrai. But then both... There's so much RNG involved. It's just not going to happen. There's just no way. There's, there's literally no way we win this battle. We just don't. <laughs> Okay, that, that kills, that kills. Good, good. Dark Void has to miss at least the Lapras. Nope. Yep. How? It's 50%. It's 50% chance to do that. And it just did. And now we lose. That was that was terrible. That RNG. I, I hope this person feels like they have skill. I hope they're proud that they did that. That you can win with Darkrai? Spamming Dark Void in a double battle? I hope you feel proud that you won? Question mark? Not even GG because that was just annoying. Okay, um. So I'm going to end the video off here because, uh. Yeah. We we got our we got our B Create Sheen. So, um, yeah, subscribe, Twitter, Amino, Discord links in description. If you want to check out more of these battles, check out the playlist. And then, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Your boy Jim is saltily signing out. And um, stay awesome.